Nobody should ever have to sit in their physician's office and hear that their cancer has spread and that there is no cure. When you're diagnosed with METS, um, it's very isolating. When patients are diagnosed with metastatic breast cancer, they're told that it's incurable. They have terminal disease and that the average lifespan um, that they should expect is 33 months after diagnosis. And so we don't understand why therapies work in some people and don't work in others. And even when they do work, why patients eventually become resistant to those therapies. We need to understand the biology of metastatic breast cancer better to understand both how to treat it and potentially how to prevent it. press a button that says count me in. Then we send them an email with a link to an online consent, which allows us permission to get their medical records and their stored tumor samples. So this is the power of big data, that with lots of patients, we might be able to find commonalities among similar patients. To be part of a larger group, that is really going to affect change in a true life or death way is um, you can't, it's hard, you can't describe what sort of impact that has. We tried to make the barrier for participation as low as possible so that we didn't put any additional burden on the patient. To register online, to count me in, the saliva kit gets sent to the house. The biggest difficulty for me, and I laughed with the folks who were running the study about this, was that you're supposed to wait so many hours after you eat. And I eat all day long. One of the first things that we ask of people when they enroll is to provide us some information about their experience with metastatic breast cancer, whether they've had extraordinary responses, what types of therapies they've been on, how long it's been since they were diagnosed with breast cancer and then subsequently with metastatic breast cancer. And as we do this over and over again for many patients, we'll be able to create a really deep, rich set of data for not just us to do research with, but to, for the whole community to do research with. And it made us realize that the more patients that we have enroll from not just the United States, but all over the world, the more information we'll be able to glean to build out future studies. We feel a profound responsibility because patients are putting their faith in us um, that we yeah. will do something with their data and not just do something, but really make advances and contribute to something greater that might help a lot of people.